Once you've clicked on the invite link your Game Master sends you, you'll see the Game Details page. It's got private forums for things like discussions from your game and scheduling, the list of folks in your game, and most importantly, the Launch Game button. Let's hit that now. Great, we're in. This is the main Roll20 interface for players. Game Masters have a different view. If you'd like to learn more about that, check out the Game Masters Crash Course on our Help Center. Depending on what your Game Master has set up, you'll be looking at a different background or tokens, but the Toolbar, Virtual Tabletop, and Sidebar are always in the same areas. Roll20 has built-in support for video and voice chat that uses your webcam and microphone. If this is your first time launching a game, you might need to give permission so your browser can access these. Check the video icon in your browser. Roll20 officially supports Chrome and Firefox. You can also change your audio and or video preferences from the game settings at any point. So if you wanted to have audio on but video off, you can make those changes here. Now let's take a look at the sidebar. The first tab in the list is the chat. This is the main brain of the game. All text communication, game events, and game actions are done in this tab. If someone casts a spell, rolls dice, takes damage, it will show up in this area. You can choose who you're speaking as from the drop-down menu below the chat box to have in-character conversations and roles, or even a moat. Whisper ideas and roles directly to your game master by typing slash WGM.